so the next part of the discussion here in chemical bonding is that is covalent covalent bond so if you go for covalent bond here the key word which you have to remember in the case of covalent bond is that is <coughs> equal sharing of valence electrons equal sharing of valence electrons between two atoms in a molecule is simply called as covalent bond the valence electrons of both the atoms in the covalent bond belong to both the atoms the valence electrons which are involving in the formation of covalent bond belongs to both the atoms whatever the examples we take the covalent bond formation in general the covalent bond formation is more prominent or more significant in the case of homodiatomic molecules however the covalent bond is also expected even in the heterodiatomic molecules also so for example if you take examples of examples of homo diatomic molecules diatomic molecules examples you can take plenty that is homo diatomic molecules examples you can take h2 f2 n2 o2 all these are homo diatomic molecules and uh, here when we are saying equal sharing of valence electrons between two atoms in a molecule the sharing is done between two atoms in a molecule of their valence electrons just to acquire finally to acquire stability to acquire stability so if you take all these are homo diatomic in general if you take hydrogen between if you take hydrogen molecule between hydrogen in hydrogen molecule between two hydrogen atoms you find a single covalent bond and uh, in chlorine also you find a single covalent bond in uh, nitrogen you find three covalent bonds so it is a triple bonded molecule and uh, if you go for oxygen it's a double bonded molecule that is oxygen oxygen double bonded molecule so we can prove we can we can prove the covalent bond formation between the two atoms in all these molecules through lewis electron dot structure method so covalent bond formation covalent bond formation through lewis electron dot method the lewis electron dot method so if we take hydrogen each hydrogen contains one valence electron so there are two hydrogen atoms so one hydrogen is given by a dot and another hydrogen is given by a cross these two are the valence electrons of both the hydrogen atoms so according to the lewis electron dot structure both the hydrogen atoms of their respective valence electrons they share equally that will result in the formation of one bond pair electron this bond pair electron is shown in the form of a covalent bond hydrogen single bond hydrogen the single bond will act as a covalent bond next if you go for fluorine each fluorine is having seven valence electrons so there are two out of seven valence electrons each fluorine will try to share one electron each leaving behind the remaining seven valence electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 so you can see that both the fluorine atoms will try to share equally one electron with the adjacent atom with each other so you find that here fluorine molecule has one single covalent bond of course each fluorine is having non bonding pair of electron that is three non bonding pair of electrons for the first fluorine and three non bonding pair of electrons for the second fluorine second fluorine but a covalent bond is formed successfully 
between the two fluorine atoms. So, if you take the next molecule that is nitrogen molecule, take two nitrogen molecules, between two nitrogen molecules you find that each nitrogen has the number of valence electrons 5. So, if you take the number of valence electrons 5 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the 5 valence electrons of first nitrogen. If you go for the second nitrogen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again 5 valence electrons of the second nitrogen. So, you find that both the nitrogen atoms with these valence electrons they share equally. If they share equally you find that the first nitrogen after sharing equally with the second nitrogen you find the total number of electrons involved in the nitrogen are 8 electrons. So, it is acquiring octet stability. The second nitrogen also it is trying to share equally with the first nitrogen. So, after sharing of electrons 3 electrons each after sharing you find that there are 3 bond pair electrons. So, therefore, if you take the structure of nitrogen it is it will give 3 bond pairs in the form of 3 covalent bonds, but each nitrogen is having 1 non bonding pair of electron ok for 2 nitrogen atoms each. So, you find that here therefore, it is proved that the nitrogen molecule uh, because it is able to form 3 covalent bonds it is a triple bonded molecule, but both the nitrogens have already both the nitrogen atoms have already acquired stability that is octet stability and uh, hence the covalent bond is formed between two nitrogen atoms and the molecule is definitely a triple bonded molecule. Go for oxygen molecule, there are two oxygens, each oxygen has 6 valence electrons. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can see here, you can see here that is the each oxygen is trying to share two electrons each with one another to acquire the octet stability. So, I repeat each oxygen is trying to share two electrons with neighboring oxygen atom I mean two valence electrons of the neighboring oxygen atom. Likewise, if you go for the second oxygen also you find that the second oxygen also it is trying to uh, share its two valence electrons out of six valence electrons it is trying to share two valence electrons with the, the first oxygen thereby it is giving two bond pair of electrons. Because it is giving two bond pair of electrons we can obviously say that oxygen molecule is therefore, it is a double bonded molecule with the separation of two oxygens double bonded molecule it has two lone pairs two non bonding pair of electrons for each oxygen which is shown as usual. And here what is interesting is again oxygen also it is trying to acquire the octet stability. Uh, here in all the cases except for hydrogen molecule rest of the three molecules whatever the examples we have taken for the formation of covalent bond. The fluorine molecule, nitrogen molecule and oxygen molecule with the sharing with their equal sharing of valence electrons with respect to each other all three molecules have acquired the octet stability. Only the difference is in fluorine in F2 molecule you find that there is a single covalent bond in nitrogen molecule you can find that there is a triple bond between two nitrogen atoms and in oxygen molecule there is a double bond between the two oxygen atoms. So, therefore, the covalent bond is formed in all the three molecules and these molecules are the best examples of homodiatomic molecules. They are homodiatomic because the atoms are same within the molecule.